So we all know by now the Giga is a fantastic choice for harvesting meat. But with the introduction of new Genesis 2 creatures, is there a better choice out there? Let's find out. You're right kids, it's Ras Clark and it's test time today. We've got a few things we want to test with. As you might know by now, the Giga is seen to be the best meat harvester of them all. However, there's a few other things that I need to test. Big shout out to Hannah Atta who suggested this, that the Noglin apparently harvests more than most other creatures. But there's a few other things I want to try and see what really does harvest the most. So insert Mr. Bronto. So harvesting rates are set to one times and of course these are all level one creatures. So let's kick off with the Giga first. Oh, wow. Right, there we go. 88 raw meat and seven prime meat. I thought, you know what? Why don't we try the R Giga variant just to see if there's any difference whatsoever. Just to test to see if there's variables on what you can harvest. Let's just try it once again with the Giga. Why are we harvesting Brontos? Brontos are seen to be one of the more meat giving creatures, aren't they? Jeez. Okay, there are some small marginal variables there. So in this instance, we got 80, we got 92 meat and still the same prime. Insert R Giga. Let's see what we get with that. Jeez, oh why are they bouncing up in the air like that? <laughs> oh, hang about. So in this instance, we got what? 10 more raw meat. It could have been just a fluke and less prime. We'll do another test with this, the same Giga again, just to see if we got lucky that time. Okay, it's very much confirmed there. We are getting more meat with the R Giga, but it's still more. We've got the seven prime meat this time, and we've still got more raw meat than the original Giga. So, Rex. Well, isn't that interesting? That Rex actually got, surprisingly, just as much as the R Giga. At level one anyway, the Rex is actually harvesting about the same amount. Okay, pulling in our trusty Void Woodham now. Wow. We got a lot more prime meat from that. We've got 12 stacks and the raw meat is marginally less. I'm wondering whether it was more so just a good roll with that Soro part than anything else. Before we test these three over here, there's something else I want to test, which I'm sure you're aware of. The pick, the almighty pick and the almighty chainsaw. Primitive pick with a character with no melee levels. The more melee levels your character has, the better your harvesting will be. Oh, for crying out loud. Surprisingly, it's actually still pretty good. That's more raw meat than any other dino so far. But when you start leveling creatures, it's going to become a very different game. Chainsaw. Chainsaw, in my opinion, is a great tool for harvesting. And we've got another flyer. And we're still going. There we go. Phenomenally different with the chainsaw. Look at that. 328 raw meat and 22 raw prime meat. What we're going to do after this is we're going to level up these creatures and then compare them against Ascendant gear. The Moss Chops... I covered before as a great harvesting tool and certainly underestimated in what it can do. As when you look at it, it has harvesting levels that you can then buff into a particular type of thing you want it to harvest. This is where it gets a bit complicated for our test anyway, because if we start leveling this, it's going to be an unfair comparison against everything else. So we leveled it, but not in melee. We'll bump up that prime meat harvesting. The moss chops, you can't eat it with the moss chops. You've got to make it harvest on its own without riding it. So, all right, you see it. If I put you on aggressive, will you attack it? There we go. Okay. Oh, wow, that's, that was harvesting for quite a while. And wow, look at that. That's with no levels into melee damage. That's just the harvesting buff that you can give it with every level. And look how much prime that is. That's a lot of prime. 
72 prime and 89 raw meat. I know I've been teasing you and we're gonna see if the nuggling is any good. But before we do that, I wanna test out the text rider. No. It's harvesting attachment won't do it, but will his feet harvest it at all? No. Strider, ne pois. So, engage brain ons. Let's see what you're all about. Um, it's unconscious. <laughs> what happened there? So at level one, we've got a bit of an issue. What if, just for a second, if we GM buff it, will that do anything? There we go, okay. I mean, we're harvesting a lot less raw meat. Okay, that didn't seem like a lot to me. Yeah, that was pittance. Is it because it needs to engage a brain hunt with it? Will it kill it? No. In fact, with all of the melee pumped, it gave us roughly the same amount as every other creature. Nuggling, no point. All of this now, we're going to level them up in melee and see what the difference is. Yeah. Definitely an improvement. Not a massive improvement. But again, only marginal. It's There's not a lot in it, really. And again, the Rex has done pretty well. There's not a lot in it. All right. Got through that pretty quick. Once again, loads of prime. 77 prime, 96 meat. I'm very keen to see what happens when we start spawning in 150s. And I know it's very hard to test them because there's a lot of variables because you don't know what's going to be rolled into melee, etc. But just for science, let's spawn 150s of each and just see if there's any difference and compare it against the Ascendant pick and Chainsaw as well. Right, we got 150 perfect time spawns now. Of course, a Void Worm has a few more levels because it naturally does when you tame it at 190. So, let's level all of these up in melee and see if there's any difference between these. Giga, what are you made of? Oh my God. Right, 25 prime meat and 320 raw meat, okay. So, considerably less, interestingly. We actually got quite a lot less with the R Giga. There's a 100 melee difference, which makes a big difference there. Okay, let's try the Rex. Yeah, the Rex, despite having a lot more melee, harvests a lot less than a level Giga. Yeah, no real change there. The Giga, when leveled, is harvesting a heck of a lot more. Not really, no. The Nuggling wasn't that good. Nuggling, no. Not impressed. Must chaps, talk to me. There we go. All the prime in the world. Raw meat, nishgit, but 69 prime meat and 90 raw meat. Making the Giga still king, but there is one more thing to try out, and that is, of course, the Ascendant Chainsaw. Ascendant pick, yeah, it's okay. It's not great. Go on then. Pronto, what you got for me? Yeah, that's that's pretty good. So, in comparison, the chainsaw wins. That's an ascendant max near max unofficial ascendant chainsaw. Does more than the Giga. Making this the chainsaw the go-to choice for harvesting. If you haven't got an ascendant max chainsaw, a Giga does pretty well. If of course you want a lot of prime. Must chaps is your baby, without a doubt. And that concludes our test. Or does it? There's one more thing I want to check out. Here I've got a selection of things that give you raw meat. The Bronto, the Parasa, and the Rex. Now I've been told that the Rex actually gives you more meat. Let's give these a try. I also want to see how much mutton we can get with the chainsaw and how much poly and kaijin we can get with the chainsaw too on a Karkinas. All level one. So the Bronto we've already tested. You saw that. It's about 400 meat. Let's just do it again. All right, about 400 raw meat, 15 prime. The Parasur. Does this give us more? No. The Parasur, although he's a lot easier to kill, does not give us as much. Although I felt like we got a lot of prime then. The Rex. 
No. Despite people telling me that the Rex gives you more, it certainly does not. The Bronto and Parisa are certainly still the way. Definitely your best choices for going to get meat. And they should be because there are plenty and plenty of Parisas and Brontos out there. The Ovis. 200 mutton. Not bad. Not bad at all. Just to show you, if you've never done this before, I rave about this. Use a chainsaw on a Karkinos. Get ready for this. Yeah. Polly. All the Polly. 462 Polly from one crab. That's your game. If you want organic Polly, chainsaw versus crab is win. And there we go. That reigns the chainsaw supreme as the ultimate harvesting tool. If you don't have one, once again, Giga, good meat harvester. Moss chops, great for your prime. And the others, not so much. Nuggling, I don't know why I was told you was a good harvester, but you're not. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, comment below, let me know. My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, ah, peace out.